What's going on guys? Welcome to this week's video. My name is Eric Favors and I am a professional shot put thrower. And today, today is the day. Let's rewind. This last two months have been really, really difficult. I've been dealing with a injury. So if you guys have been watching my videos, I kind of briefly talked about it, but I didn't really want to go into detail because I was ba basically busy rehabbing. I have an amazing support system with my friends and family, my coach, my PT. They've been with me every step of the way. These last two months have been ups. There's been ups, there's been downs, and they've been with me ever since. So I really appreciate you guys. You guys know who you are. I talk to you guys on a daily basis, but today, today I'm going to be showing you guys my progression of basically what happened. Um, so initially I heard it in Germany, warming up for a meet and then I re-aggravated it the week later. So this is basically where, this is basically footage of every single step of the way. My rehab, my, my drills, my progressions, getting back to this point today. So without further ado, I'm going to talk more about it, but let's get into the video. So this is actually the throw that I initially felt the pain again. So felt the pop, a lot of pressure under that kneecap. It was not fun. Had a hard time lifting my leg. This is the video I sent to John. He was probably tripping out because that was probably like the fifth thing I sent him during <laughs> my time in Germany. But I felt a lot of pressure when my knee went over my toes. So uh, like sharp pain, couldn't really walk as much, uh, just kind of that achy pain. So this is my last couple of days in Germany, and then I made my way to Ireland to the Institute to actually get it checked out. And uh, the good people over there looked at it. Uh, I think it was like the next day when I landed. And uh, yeah, they found that I had fluid. So I had like a bursar on my knee. And then also I had a severe case of patella tendonitis. It was, yeah, patella tendonitis, if you guys don't know, it is annoying. It is, I mean, obviously it, it has like the sharp pain and everything, but like the tendonitis aspect of it, like it's like, I can't really walk as much. I can't jump and it just kind of lingers on. So even if I did like the strengthening for a couple of weeks, still have to deal with like that achy pain once in a while, but I am managing it very well. My load isn't fully there yet, but we're building into it. And now when I was doing the drills back in the day, I still felt it on that patella when my knee went over my toe. So the strengthening phase was really important. And now, uh, now I'm getting back into jumping around. So that's the next step. And without further ado, check out the throws. Ah. What you coming, nigga? The army is doing something about the weather. Ah, yeah, I'm back, nigga. Yeah, I'm back, nigga. Fuck niggas is talking about. Fuck all that who the best shit. This and that. Y'all know what the fuck it is with me. Ah, the butcher coming, nigga. Yo, last year was about branding. This one about expanding. Caught a flight to Cali, made 20 before I landed. This rap shit easy, tell the truth, I can't stand it. If I ain't had his F's, I put a brick in transit. Ask about me. All I did was get advice from niggas who sell a white. Threw the money on the table before the plug set the price. I was eager, ain't no tomorrows. I could be dead tonight. I was seasoned like Pat Leather, Jordan 11 Mike. I need a trunk full of cash, my foot stuck to the gas. That's a buck in a stash, doing a buck and a half. I hung with hustlers, guys who sold hundreds of bags. They front you some. Many onions that it come with a jag. The life of niggas who live it, the price for niggas who did it. Hoes fall in love when you look like a nigga who get it. I know how I feel when they don't like that you did it different. Cause they dick riding trends just like them niggas you mimic. Yeah, I was young in my prison phases. How you know you really gangster? Jail cells while I learned decision making. 
50 grand in the refrigerator Living room, killers waiting Plastic on the floor like we renovating This not for kids, so you gotta excuse it Y'all don't spend enough on guns, but a lot with the jeweler I spent a bunch on guns and a lot with the jeweler They bought a crib for my bitch and gave a block to my shooters Who you know that tote blocks and sold rocks to abusers The dead record breaking numbers broke locks for the movement That was me, with no pops, my coke spots was exclusive Walk around with this froze watch, cause no ops wanna do it Let's go, nigga the fuck is you talking about? Eastside Buffalo shit, nigga. Montana shit. 1300 shit. Free all my niggas. Free my nigga C's. Free my nigga Duffel Bag. Free my cousin Dat. So, what'd you guys think? What'd you guys think of the progression? I did have ups. I did have downs. I had trials and tribulations, but I stayed positive and just kept on moving forward. Thank you to the mobility doctor. He was with me every single day, every single text message. I'm like panicking. I'm like, I'm sitting, I'm getting, I'm getting pushed back. I'm, I'm, it's flaring back up, but you know, he's told me that it's going to get, it's going to be hard. And that's what really resonated with me because I'm not afraid of anything being hard. I love, I love the long journeys. And so as soon as he told me, I'm like, all right, you know, it's going to be painful. It's going to be hard, but I'm willing to. That's the price I'm willing to pay to, you know, chase a dream because I'm not scared. It's not going to be my first setback and it won't be my last, but I know that it's going to be a stepping stone and I'm going to grow from this situation. And it's funny how leading into it, like doing the rehab, everything just kind of comes full circle because I remember back in like I was talking to my buddy Legend and I was saying how when I was in high school, I would do like a lot of like dumbbell lunges and for my rehab, John gave me like dumbbell lunges and that just kind of like gave me a little reminder of like, dang, I have to dig deep and actually work for this because like nobody's going to do it. It's not just going to magically heal itself. And uh, yeah, it just it felt cool because it was like I had to dig deep in order to like, you know, get a scholarship. And that's the type of mentality I had leading into like this injury. It was like how bad do you want it? And like, I want this, I was going to say, I want this shit real bad. I'm not, I'm not messing around. Uh, I'm taking this shit. I'm starting to curse now. I'm taking this serious. This is my life. This is my dream. And I'm going to do it. I mean, that's, that's the bottom line. I'm, I'm willing to, this is the price I'm willing to pay to sacrifice because setbacks isn't a thing and it all comes full circle. And it's just like a little test. It's a little test that I am prepared for. I'm built for this. I'm built for any situation, and I'm going to keep on moving forward because that's, that's what I do, you know? So, yeah, it was just like little things, like the dumbbell lunges, just like a little flashback to, like, high school. And then I went back to college. I went back to South Carolina for, like, a training trip. And it was like, dang, this whole year, it's just like, Everything's coming full circle, so, and now I'm back in PA, starting to warm up, and it's like, yeah, it's test. This is how I see it, um, and I'm, and I'm built for it, so, hopefully you guys got a little bit of motivation, I mean, you could see what I go through, it's like, nothing's just going to be perfect, it's not going to be a straight line, trials and tribulations, things get thrown your way, but it's like your mentality of how you're going to attack it. And that's the God honest truth. And I'm, and I'm, <laughs> and I'm willing to keep on attacking and waking up because they're gonna have to, yeah. <sighs> but if you guys like the video, please like, comment, let me know what you guys want to see, and keep going because you could do it. Anything you want to do, put your mind to it. So I'll see you at the top. See ya.